Example 5 is some practice examples of both the law of detachment and the law of syllogism. Okay, for part A, the law of detachment, use the law of detachment to make a valid conclusion. You are given that all squares are regular quadrilaterals. Square bump is a square. Go ahead, and try this on your own first. Pause the video and check when you're ready. Okay. We know that all squares are quadrilaterals, which means if we have a square, then it's a quadrilateral. We also know that square bump, so we know bump, B-U-M-P, is a square. Well, let's look at this. We have square and square, which means we can connect square bump is a square, and since it's a square, it's a quadrilateral. Our final statement is square bump, B-U-M-P, is a quadrilateral. Okay, now let's look at the law of syllogism. We want to use the law of syllogism to write a single conditional statement. These are the statements we are given. If we have a math test, then I'll have to study. If I have to study, then I won't get a good night's sleep. If I don't get a good night's sleep, then I'll be tired at work this weekend. If I'm tired at work, then I'll accidentally put peanuts on Mr. Smith's ice cream. If I accidentally put peanuts on Mr. Smith's ice cream, then Mr. Smith's peanut allergy will act up. If Mr. Smith's peanut allergy acts up, then Mr. Smith will die. Okay, so let's look at this. If I have a math test, this is my first statement, then I'll have to study. This is my next statement. This links to our second quote. If I have to study, then I won't get a good night's sleep. Okay, so we already have this chain. If we have a math test, then I'll have to study. If I have to study, then I won't get a good night's sleep. If I don't get a good night's sleep, then I'll be tired at work this weekend. If I'm tired at work, I'll accidentally put peanuts on Mr. Smith's ice cream. Okay, so trace this chain. We go from math test to having to study to no sleep to tired at work, to peanuts on ice cream, and then this continues. If I accidentally put peanuts on Mr. Smith's ice cream, then Mr. Smith's peanut allergy will act up. So peanuts on ice cream to allergy if Mr. Smith's peanut allergy acts up, then Mr. Smith will die to death. What we see now is that we have this chain that goes all the way through from math test to death. We can write a single statement that says, if we have a math test, then Mr. Smith will die. Not the happiest of statements, but hopefully it gives you an idea of how the law of syllogism works.